Hi once again, everybody. On behalf of Accustats Video Productions, it's my pleasure to welcome you once again to the Accustats Make It Happen All-Star Invitational. This is live from the Aramis Simonis Arena here at Sandcastle Billiards in Edison, New Jersey. This is day number five of our six-day event. We have brought back our three prior Make It Happen champions, along with Dennis Orcuyo, who was voted in by you, the fans. And our four great champions are playing round robin in four disciplines all week. Eight ball, ten ball, straight pool, and one pocket. You'll see one of each discipline each day. Tomorrow, when play concludes, the player with the best overall record will wear the crown of inaugural Accustats Make It Happen All-Star Invitational Champion. We're now in the one pocket discipline. This will be a race to four with a 60 second shot clock, one extension per player, per mat, per rack, and it's cue ball fouls only. It's now my pleasure to introduce our two competitors. Our first player, originally from Fulda, Germany, now residing in Jacksonville, Florida. Among this gentleman's accomplishments include victories in the China Open, the Japan Open, and the Philippine Open. He's the three-time and defending World Straight Pool Champion. He's the reigning WPA Player of the Year. And ladies and gentlemen, he is the number one ranked player in the world, sponsored by Lukasi Hybrid, Cupod, Simonis, and Kamui. Please welcome the hitman, Torsten Homan. Thank you very much. His opponent from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Among this gentleman's long list of accomplishments include two Derby City One Pocket titles, two Derby City All Around World Championships. He's a four time Billiards Digest Player of the Year, the last three consecutively, and he's a former U.S. Open One Pocket champion. Sponsored by QTech, it's the South Dakota kid, Shane Van Boning. Oh. All right, your referee in charge of this match is Mr. Carswell Ransom. Your official photographer is Carl Kantrowitz. Your official timekeeper, Miss Angel Maracas. And at this time, it's my pleasure to send it over to the booth to the gold standard of commentators, the voice of Accustats, Billy Incardona, and Hall of Famer, Danny DiLiberto. Uh, thank you, Kenny. And my good friend, Danny DiLiberto, on my right. Thank you, Danny, for sharing all these years with me and being up here with me, because you know you're my man, regardless <laughs> of how you feel about it. Listen, I love doing commentary <laughs> with you. It's fun. Thank you. And I enjoy doing commentary with you as well. And I hope that all you people out there enjoy us, because we're, you know, we kid around a lot, but we really like to bring to you people the way the game's supposed to be played. Anyways, this is the uh, second match of the day. Torsten Holman, Shane Van Boeing. Uh, Torsten Holman, really not that experienced playing one pocket, but he has such tremendous skills. He is liable to defeat anyone in the world playing any game, but he's sure got his hands full with his opponent, Shane Van Boeing, probably one of the top one or two best one pocket players in the world today. Yeah, and Holman made a good break here. Almost made a ball, but he didn't make a ball. And I think Van Boning's got to put him in that far left-hand corner to us. He can kick lightly, but that's only going to be survival because he'll be in worse shape next inning. Yeah, he he can kick at this eleven, or he can he's going to shoot the seven into it, I believe. Now, I don't believe that way anymore. That little kick hurt him. I don't know if uh, Holman could make the one ball. Well, the first, I don't think he could. The first thing I would do would I would move the seven on his side, on Holman's side, and put him behind the one. Yeah, but he didn't shoot the seven hard enough. Well, maybe the three five is dead in home as whole. No, I think it's wide of the pocket, but it still could be makeable. He's going to take a look to see if the 15 is frozen. He should go rail first and just lay on the 15. 
lay on it. Okay, see what Billy just said, see if it's frozen. If it's frozen, you got to hit the rail with the cue ball after hitting that 15 or knock the 15 to another rail or it's a scratch and you lose one. Well, that wasn't as good as it could be. He shot the right shot. The 15 went dead, and he didn't freeze Bamboning on the side of the pile, and he had a very excellent chance to do that. Uh, if we can get a an angle shot on that 115 to see if it's a possible combination into Van Boning's pocket, that would be great. It's it's headed toward the bottom rail. I don't know if he'll be if he can make this. Danny. Yeah, I think so. If you shoot it soft, it goes. I don't know. I he didn't shoot know. it hard enough. Well, now we'll find out if the five is dead. He should take a look at the three five into the twelve now. If that's on, obviously that would be the start the shot to start to run with. He's got the eight, also, Billy. Oh, I know he's got the eight, but I'm saying that you, you would like to remedy those two balls that are tied up now, especially if you can pocket a ball in yeah. doing it. Well, what I like to say is Holman's best chance to win this match is when he gets a shot, better run eight. That's a great shot, making that 15, because now when his inning ends, he doesn't have to dock around the 15 or give it to him. Now he could try anything. He couldn't do that with the 15 hanging. He didn't fall on the ball here, but I think he's going to cut this ball and go all the way to the end rail. He can't make it, but he can, you know, the way the balls are sitting, there's going to be a wall of balls. Oh, I, I would have went all the way up, wouldn't you, Billy? Well, I don't know. I, I don't see any problem, you know, uh, what, what he did there. He, he's using the stack to protect the balls, which is always good, you know. If you go all the way up, maybe he'll just pocket the, the 12 ball with the cue ball. And, uh, yeah, and but what I'm getting at is it makes it easy to get out of the inning because you're close. You get it? Yeah. I like distance there, Billy, no matter what. But, you know... They're great players, but not so much in one pocket, at least Homan. Now, Homan's got to protect those two balls on his side of the table. I think now would be a good time to go all the way up table off the nine. Yeah. If he can, I don't know if he can see the nine. Let's get an angle from behind the cue ball I think he toward can the hit nine. It. If we can get that angle. I think he could shoot the nine straight on, two rail it maybe towards the ten, and go distance. He may well, not be able to see maybe that. Maybe he can't. The way he's looking, he can't. Well, if he could fan the pile without opening things and leaving a shot, he can still go all the way up. Well, he knocked the ball on his side. Great speed. What That's control. Perfect speed. Perfect speed. <laughs> Uh, Van Boning steps to the table now, and he's looking at something that looks to him like it's very, very ugly. Nothing there that's appealing at all, so therefore he's got his hands full here. He's going to take a look uh, at possibly, I don't know what he's looking at here. He's got a lot of problems right here. Well, I don't know what that 3-5 combination's doing, but I would have to go off that uh, 14 ball and leave distance and let him go. I don't think he has a combination. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's very risky to come back down table if you're a Van Boning like Danny said, come off that 14 ball, leave him distance. He doesn't have a shot. Maybe he'll do something that he's not supposed to do and give you an escape. Well, he didn't, he's not even looking at that. Oh, good control, and he broke up the combination, Billy. That, oh. that deserves applause there. That was a good shot. Well, that was an excellent shot. It's not... 
it's not often, and it's a very, really a rarity when you can see someone hit the, hit a ball that that accurately from the distance he was and slow and control the cue ball. Well, I think uh, Holman can come off the six and leave distance again. Come off the right side of the six and put Van Bonian all the way down again. Although he lost a big advantage, did Holman by that combination being broken up. Well, yeah, I think he's supposed to go off to six. Is he going all out banking to four? Maybe he is. It looks like he's... No, he couldn't go all out, and the cue ball's going in the pocket this time. That was silly. I like going off to six there, didn't you, Billy? Yeah, whatever way was the most comfortable way of getting down the table. Without I scratching. <laughs> but what I liked what he did do, obviously it wasn't scratching, obviously. I liked him positioning the four ball where he did. Had the cue ball not scratched, he would have taken away that back kick on the tw- on the 13 ball. Yeah, but, but it's he scratched. Scratch. Yeah, he's said, the well, one who shot it there. I said, I said that if he, you know, if he wouldn't have scratched. Yeah, but that that throws chance in it, and it had nothing to do with chance. He went right in the pocket. Well, he's going to have to watch Van Boning run some balls now. You better beat this guy on the break for you, or you're going to be in a lot of trouble. But here's another story here. We were talking about, you know, usually when we play one pocket, it's a race to three, which means the first break is great. In this case, the first break isn't that important because they're going to have equal breaks. He can go to the three, I believe. Oh, he tried to move those balls further, but I would have just gone right to the three because that combination wasn't on anymore. I think now he's going to have to get the bridge, knock the 13 away. I wouldn't leave that 13 there. Yeah, he's going to put him behind that. Yeah, it looks like that combination, I would have to shoot the one into the five ball and go behind the 13. He doesn't like the angle that he has there. He would like to get him close to the one here. Yeah, he don't want to reach with the bridge. He want to get either. him close to the one, like That's this. Good. Let now, him knock him away. Now the advantage of, uh, uh, that he has now with the shooting that shot is that Holman can no longer go up table. See, if he would have left Holman an angle to go off table, up table, off another ball, then he would have been in trouble. But he positioned the cue ball behind the one. Now Holman cannot go up table unless he takes an intentional, and that wouldn't be a bad idea. Here's the shot I like. I like taking a, an intentional an intentional scratch and going one cushion, two cushions, and going up table this way and protect all these balls. I like taking an intentional scratch. Of course, he's a relatively inexperienced one-pocket player. He probably doesn't even know that shot even exists. But I like taking an intentional scratch here because if you stay down table, Van Bone is going to start putting them out. I, I think he sees it. I think he sees it. And in all fairness, Billy talks, he doesn't think he knows that. In all fairness, the European players don't play one pocket. That's the shot. If he can get he him behind that, that 14. Oh, I don't think he did. I think if he can get him behind that 14. No, well, that's he the shot. He, he shot the correct shot, without a doubt. Excellent, excellent thought out shot by Holman. And that was the correct shot. It would have been a lot better, like you say, if he would have went behind the ball. But this is what he did. Got to accept it. Now, Van Boning, once again, can try to put him behind the one again off the 15. But he has to make sure he moves that 12 ball far enough up table not to give him a return bank on it. So he should be coming off the 15 ball on the foot spot. He should want to spin. Oh, he's going to play the combination. He's going all out here and playing the combination. He's shooting one ball. That's dumb. I hate to say a great player like Van Boning is doing something dumb, but you can't shoot this combination at one ball, Billy. Well, I wouldn't want to do it. Okay, Van Boning went 
that the conservative well, route. caught some of the point there. That could have been disaster. He hit a little bit of the point. He's got to be careful here, okay? He doesn't want Van Boney to come to the table to be able to see the yellow one. So I like lagging up table where the 13 is, using the 7 as a blocker. Now, he should go up table where the 13 is and take a look at where he, where he would leave Van Boning. If he, can, if he leaves him a shot on the 1, then he shouldn't go up there. He's got to protect the 1 ball. He's going over to the other side. Now, Van Boney's got a shot on that 15, and I think he's probably going to shoot it. Yeah, he could shoot it because he figures to brush the 7 and go all the way down to the end rail. And if he's able to do that, he may have a bank on the 1 next. He might, but it's going to be a little thin. Nicely done. Now, he may have a bank on the 1 here, and if he does, he may have some... Ball running potential here. I don't know if he has the angle to get in there. Yeah, he's going to go into the six and seven. Good shot. Oh boy. Okay, now Holman, Holman uh, actually has a, pro a pretty big problem here because he can't get to the one to knock it in. Yeah, I don't even think he could kick at one rail. But let's keep keep in mind that uh, there's not much ball running potential for Van Boning. So therefore, even though you can't get to the one, don't move balls that Van Boning can play position on. Yeah. So therefore, good, make good sure point. that when you leave the table, you only leave the one. Good point, Billy. I wouldn't come off of any of these balls down here. I would go up table. And, See what uh, Billy's talking about, folks? You know, he don't mind losing the one ball to Bamboni, but don't give him a chance to go to something else. Uh, he, if he opens these balls, that's what he's going to do. He's going to give Bamboni a chance to get more than just the one. Does he have a bank on this? Now, if he could just stop the cue ball there, that's not bad. But he doesn't, oh, if he sold it, oh, he better hope that goes in. It he did. better hope that it goes in. in. Yeah, he sold out. But when you make a ball, it's still your inning, so you didn't sell out. Van Boning has four balls. That one ball will be five. That means home, Holman is trailing four to one. I think you shoot the four into the rail, give him the one, and stop right there. It looks like that's just where it's sitting. You know, I, I wouldn't, uh, if he could bank that four and draw the cue ball off the five without running a risk of a kiss. He can get some balls right now. He trails four to one. It looks like it's going to be five to one. If he can, If he can put this down, if he feels confident that he can put this down, I would go for the bank, but... Uh, but Giving him the one, he's going to be behind five to one. He's hitting the five if he banks it. Well, he did what I said, and he did it nicely. Yeah, he had an excellent chance to remove that one and no longer had to give it to him. Well, Holman owed a ball, so therefore he doesn't have one ball. Yeah, he's even. It's four to nothing, but he was able to dig that one ball out of the pocket, which, a, which was a big plus, because you don't really want to give him an extra ball. He already has four. Yeah, he's just going to knock it on his side and duck. But most importantly, he wants to protect that one. When he knocks it on his side, he wants to make sure that when Holman steps to the table, he can't see the one. That's why he positioned the cue ball behind the orange five, not allowing Holman to see the yellow one. Because if Holman could have seen the yellow one, he would have just shot off the one and went up table with the cue ball. Well, how bad is it to bank the 12 and leave him long on the one shooting at one ball? I think he's got that, Billy. 
because he's going to run into the four, and that'll stop the cue ball from getting closer to the one. I like that. You know, let him shoot the one. You know, you're losing four nothing. Dare him to shoot the one because if he misses it, he's selling out. He's going to leave distance, but without shooting at his pocket. That's not a good shot. Not only that, I think he left the 14, Billy. Yeah, he had the 14, and he's he's uh, and the be nine very, goes. He's going to be very fortunate to get back to the table. Yeah, Van Boning has four balls. He's playing for four. Like They're Danny's, all out. Like Danny said, the uh, the nine goes. Yeah, he's going to get out. And then the, the the 13 or the excuse me, or the 12 or even the five. He's got a little straighter than he wanted to end up here, so he may have to. He can back go to, to five. The, yeah, he can go to the bank on the five, or or go two rails yeah. effortlessly. He gets he gets such tremendous action with the cue no, ball, even shooting soft. That was a good shot. Yeah, he gets such tremendous action with the cue ball because of the exactness that he hits the cue ball with. In other words, a lot of players hit the cue ball high, or at least intend to hit the cue ball high, but don't really hit it high enough to get the good action that you need sometimes. But by Van Boning, he's so accurate with his with his tip. You know, well, he hits the cue ball exactly where he wants to hit it. That's what makes him such a dangerous player, not only with his shot-making ability, but also with controlling the cue ball. Rack number one goes to Van Boning, who, tr who leads in the match one game to nothing. And what's more important is he broke home and served. Sometimes, sometimes you're better off going up table than you are staying down table. And if you notice the position of both the 4 and the 13, they're kind of like tied up a little bit, and I don't think they're makeable from up table. So if you can figure out some type of a shot down table that will send the cue ball up table, maybe move a ball or two on your side, then you don't run the risk of selling out a shot because if those balls don't go because they're congested, take advantage of it when you can. Yeah, I, I think he had a semi miscue there. No, he just let up on the stroke. You know, whenever you, whenever you're a player with 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 uh, doubt, a little confidence, you you being you you're kind of like distracted. You don't have the concentration that you need to have. He let up on the stroke there because he was really caught in between thoughts. Really, now I believe he really didn't feel like he really truly knew if he was shooting the right shot or not. Well, he's going to have to hope. Van Boning don't run eight. And this is the learning process. Holman is clearly one of the finest players in the world playing a game he's really not familiar with. Oh. You know, he got his confidence yesterday by running 111 in straight pull, but... This one pack could, could break his confidence again. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow, he and shot that, too hard there. Yes. He didn't get to the 10. He's not in trouble, but he's not going to run out. So he just did a little simple shot. So he's got a simple ducking shot. Of course, when I say ducking, that means safe. And we could fool with words again. Ducking means playing safe. It means a feathered animal. And it means not getting hit by a bullet or a ball in your head. You duck. <laughs> well, we had time, so I threw that in. <laughs> <laughs> you 
It's situations of this kind that kind of confuses Homan because you really have to be a you know a, a, a one pocket player to make a determination on what options are available. And when you take a look at a situation where you're not really familiar with because you don't understand the game, you just get confused. And it's it's sort of like a snowball type of a thing, you know. And you get more confused and then more confused, and it gets to a point where it affects your ability to pocket. And it affects your accuracy and with your shot making and your cue ball control. And that's the problem that he's facing right now. He's having those problems. Really? When I left Buffalo, I never saw one pocket. So I know the feeling. You think you're shooting the wrong shot every time you shoot. Pretty good survival shot. Right. Uh, I, you know, I, I like what he did there. He really didn't have anything other than taking an intentional somewhere. But the, what he did you know, was okay because it was effective, at least temporarily. Well, I think Van Boning's going to bank the three into the pile and stick. It's exactly what he did. Almost made the five, almost made the three, but almost doesn't count. And what uh, figure do have, have, have happened, happened. He positioned the ball in his pocket, and Homer once again steps to the table saying, is this the way this game's supposed to yeah, be played? This is I mean, every fair. time I step to the table, am I going to look at something I'm, I'm not familiar with? And he can't just give him the three because I think he leaves it back on the ten. This is what they call paying your dues. you got to learn the hard way. You know what? This is a good way to learn, by the way. Excellent shot, He protected it against uh, the return shot or the return bank on the 10 by positioning the cue ball where he did. Yeah, I think he can shoot the six, two rails on his side and try to go and bury him on the... Well, he did more than that. He went all out. Oh, he almost made the ball. He hit it pretty good. Well, at least Holman steps to the table with something he may understand now. You know, he knows now that, you know, how to control the cue ball and how to hit a ball into another ball to remove a ball. He knows stuff like that. So, therefore, this is not totally unfamiliar to him. So, he feels much more comfortable right now. Let's see how well he executes. Well, once again, he's got to be careful not to leave a bank on the 10. And that's a, and that's a good point, Danny. And I think that's what's running through his mind right now. I know how to clear some balls, but what do I do to defend against the 10? Oh, well, he didn't defend very well. I don't know. He oh, may he have. Bank. He may have. I don't know. It looks like it's a pretty yeah. awkward angle. He's good. No, it isn't. It's a good bank. He left him a bank. Get but, it. yeah, but he didn't leave him the angle to hurt him with. Yeah, to get more. Well, he's pretty hurting right now, 5 nothing. Yeah, but he's still in the, he's still in the game. I banked this 4 on the full side. You might go off the 2 or the 5. He wasn't even thinking that. He had good speed. He just wanted to get it in play, which he didn't. Well, yeah. Holman, any time now, has to find something to shoot at, but... There's nothing to shoot at. Van Boning did exactly what he wanted to do. He created a lot of distance. He positioned the cue ball near or on the cushion, and he's left Homan in a very, very compromising position. I think he can kick lightly at the six. He definitely can't bank the six because he's going to run into the four. But I think he could kick lightly at the six. If he's going to kick, if he can kick behind the four, that would be even a better shot. Well, he could do it, but I think controlling the Cuba off the kick on the six is a little better. I think he heard me. Nope, he went off the ball, and that isn't going to be good. Yeah, the light kick on the six was a shot. Now I think... He could forget this game. Van Boning's very good at running three. <laughs> That's good. 
<laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> And now it's Holman's break. Two nothing. Race to four. Van Bodie. And actually, Holman broke him good the first time, and he broke him good again. I think, let me show you this one. You got, we got to, oh, we're going to do it with this. Can we see the top part of this table? Oh, I yeah. like four railing again. I like four railing. I like this. One, two, three, four. To here. I like that. But he doesn't. He might do it with the cue with the cue ball anyways. Watch. Yeah, Watch. but balls are getting away now. That's a bad idea. He's gotta get lucky now, which he didn't. See, I don't think you had to worry about even if you take a scratch there and lose one is better than this. Because if anything, Holman could run balls. I like the poor rail kick there, but he might not have that in his repertoire. No, oh, he certainly does. Yeah, well, Van Boning shot that shot. I know it. I know <laughs> it. Well, why didn't he shoot the four railer? He didn't want to lose a ball because because he thought that he could do what he tried to do. Yeah, but he might. But he certainly knows that shot. Yeah, but that wasn't very smart. Well, because the way he shot his balls had to get in the way. Sometimes we do things that turn out that they look like it wasn't smart, but sometimes we do things you think aren't smart, but they do it so well that you look at it and say, wow, that was great. Sometimes that we do things that aren't smart, like getting married. Oh, my. <laughs> Let's see how Holman can deal with it. Uh, if he has any angle at all, he can come down and bump that four. That would be the thing to do, get him back of these balls. Well, he can get that on the 15 after he makes the 11. Well, if he can do that, that would be fine, too. But if he had the angle now to do it, that would be ideal. He's looking at it now, possibly, if he has the angle to come down and bump that four, and then he could uh, yeah, then increase he his ball continue running potential. To shoot, but yeah. I like the 11. 15, go one rail into the four. I like that, too. If he doesn't have the angle now, um, I expect him to do that. Well, he opened some balls, but I don't know how he's going to get to them. I like going one rail now and try to hit the four. You get all the way out if you execute that. Yeah, he can even hit the ten as long as he hits it and glances off of it. That'll send him on the uh, onto the tr that ball on the rail, the twelve or the thirteen. Yeah. Oh, he didn't even consider that. No, he says, "Oh, I'm going to try to get on the eight, which is good because the eight will send him across table now to the, for, for to position the four, on the to the what is that? The twelve? Yeah, for position yeah, on the, right. either, either either the twelve or the nine or the fourteen. I think they all go. I don't know if the 14, if the 14 goes, that's fine too. Yeah, right? he's got all of them. Just don't miss. You know, you got the chance to win this game. He fell on it perfectly. He needs to get off the rail. He's got 
14 is a better shot if it goes. If it goes. I don't know if it goes. If he shoots the 9, that'll be the end of his run. Well, he's going to shoot the ball on top. He'll be able to go across table with this shot. Got a little angle on that, Billy. Oh, but he hit it good. Get off the rail. Yeah, he's getting pretty close to that rail, something he doesn't want to do, but uh, sometimes it's very difficult to hit shots with the correct speed because of the uh, of the angle that you're shooting from and where you're shooting from close to the rail. This yeah. is a shot that none of us like to shoot. You only can go. It looks like the 14 might go here, Danny. He's looking at it the 14. Does. It does, and he's going to go into the 5. Well, well you better be careful here. Well, I don't see him doing anything wrong. He's not going to get all the way out. But he only needs one, so I like his end of winning this one. Actually, he's not desperate, but I think he could two-rail the two and draw the ball to the six, one rail. Right? You it's like good. That? Well, I think the right shot is to come off the two because you'll remove that ball from uh, from Shane's side, number one. Yeah, but shooting and, it to try to make it doesn't change the shot, I don't think. No, I agree. I said, but, but even if he doesn't have the angle that, you've, that you want him to have or you would like to him to he's have. He's got it. He's shooting it, too. He's not going to make it, but it's going to be pretty good speed for his game winner. And that's what you call a risk management shot. A shot that carries a little bit of a risk, but yet you manage the game shooting it. Meaning that now Shane Van Boning has to play the game that Holman wants to play. He's managing him with that. It's a well, risk management shot. You can't shot. give him the two because that's Holman's game ball. I don't know what he's looking at, but I don't think he has much chance to win this game the way the balls are. Then he should try pocket the one. He should pocket the one here then. You're right. Pocket the one, put it on the spot. Get another ball in play in case you beat him to the shot. What he doesn't like about this shot, pocketing the one, is is controlling the cue ball. Yeah, he has to roll it in. No, he's gonna. He's, he's kicking three cushions around. This is see now he knows this shot, Danny. This see? is the four railer. Yep, yeah. and he did it good. See, he did it pretty good. He knows the shot, so. Well, he should have known it earlier. He wouldn't be losing <laughs> seven nothing. Holman could bank the one and go. Downstream, But you don't want to do that. You need one ball. You just don't want to do that. Okay, the other guy needs eight. <laughs> so what if you put another ball in? He's got a big target here because the two will help him. And the one does bank. He doesn't want to shoot the one. I kind of like just coming off that nine, sending the cue ball back down to the bottom rail here behind that's, that six. That's a good shot, Billy, but you got to get your next one ball because the way the balls are sitting, if you make a mistake, Van Boning's going to get shot. in the game. I like what he's doing here. Protect that two ball. And get another ball yeah, out that's of play. Right. Protect that two ball. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Now Van Boning steps to the table, very limited on what he can do. And, what, and at the very least, you'll be in position to put another ball up table. And that's managing the game. you got to play the score. If he pockets this ball, and then, then uh, Holman can then come off the spot of ball and put him right back behind the six. See, yeah, if he pockets this ball, Holman could kick lightly at the six. Well, the, the point is, is that Holman can put him in trouble regardless of where the cue ball goes. If the cue ball goes down table, he can come off the spot of ball. He can come off the, the, the top ball and put him behind the six again. He could do that. And it's automatic, and it's, it's a shot that 
It'll probably win him the first game. His first game. Yeah. Because he's Excuse losing me. two yes. to nothing. His first game. That's the shot. That's what he did, Billy, and he did it pretty nicely. Now, your shot may come into play pretty soon by, by uh, kicking the six. If he comes off the orange five, then, then you kick it to six. If he comes off the ball up table, then you have to look and see what else you have other than the, the kick. Yeah, I like this because you don't want to mess with that four and five because they don't go anywhere for Van Boney. Van Boning positioned the nine to where perhaps he may have a bank on it next. Right. It'll be like an out, a savior, if he has to. Let's see where the cue ball goes first. But I think he can come off the five and put him back behind the six. Yeah, but he's going to give him a bank on the nine. I kind of like for him to do something with the nine here. This shot here... Is okay, but you leave him a bank on the nine unless you unless you put a two real the five up table follow through off the four like that. Okay, that's different. Well, he still left the bank. He did, but he but he kind of like congested balls down there because before he shot that shot, all the balls were, were positioned fairly good, and plus it looks like he may even uh, may have even blocked the bank with the with the with the. Five ball here. Plus, he put the cue ball on the rail. Exactly. So, therefore, what he Tough did. To control. Exactly. For, uh, what he did uh, was very effective. I like what he did, and he got real good results. Yeah, I don't think he could bank at the five because it'll go right in that left hand corner. Okay, now what he can do is he can cross the five to his side and drop on the bottom rail. Now then, that, that'll preclude home, uh, excuse me, Van Boeing from backing the nine because the five will be positioned on the home inside. He can, yeah, he can cross the five and position it on his side. And then Van Boning, when he steps to the table, he'll be able to bank the nine, but he w he won't want to. Got to be careful here. He could scratch here. You could sell out, too. Oh, we're going to get a game here. This game could get interesting. Yeah, well, he's going to play shape for the five if it's going to get interesting. Well... There's no rush to do that right now. Oh, he's got a bad angle. Well, make the ball and then knock the two away because the two is a threat. He needs them all. He's got to probably run I understand, balls. but he's not going to be able to shoot right here. Make this. You got the ten six combination. Knock the two away. He's going to try to go to the ten six. He's got to try to run balls. Well, he didn't do it. He may not even have a shot to knock the two away now. He does have a bank on the nine, but I like my shot. Because if he would have got out in the open, knocked the two away, he's in the game, even though he needs seven. What's he doing? Trying to curve, hit the two? Good. I'm glad he got that away. And he is, too. This game's not over yet, Billy. Yeah, it's not. Because if he leaves him a bank on the nine now... Shane doesn't have to worry about selling out the two. Well, he puts a 10 there. That's one pocket thinking because that stops Van Boning from shooting to nine. Good shot. Getting more balls in play. I'll tell you, any mistakes now by Holman... Van Boning could win this game. The balls are sitting pretty good for Van Boning. Is 
He's going to leave a bank if he shoots the two. He leave a bank on the ten. I kind of like shooting the two toward the one and dropping by that thirteen on the rail. At least try to get that two on your side and try to block it with the thirteen and six. But if he doesn't, Van Boney's going to ha- he's going to have a free shot at the ten, Billy. Yeah, but he should have cut that ball a lot more than that. No, he didn't. No, but you know that was the shot. Well, he can't play position off the 10, but I no, think... No, the 9's the bank here. That's the bank, yeah. the 9. you got to bank the 9 here. No, he's looking to maybe even... I don't know if the 9 goes by the 10. Well, even if it doesn't, this is probably the right shot. Because you can't, you can't run any balls with the 10. No, you can't. So, and you could sell out the combination. Because yeah, so Holman right the now wants to shoot at something. you got to bank the 9 here. Or two rail to five. Now, the back of the nine, I think it's a better shot. Well, hitting the cue ball low here is going to make the five go longer. I don't know if he can go to the pocket with the five. He hit the point. Got it in play. Holman right now would love to shoot at something because he could sense that he's going to get out moved here. He's got to be careful here because he's going to leave him a bank on the nine for sure. Well, I think you can shoot the five straight on and three rail it to your pocket and stick. Yeah, I think he can do that too, but that requires a perfect hit. Well, he's a great player. Well, he doesn't want to shoot it. Well, that's not too bad. At least he's getting the ball out of play. And he only needs one. And it's always good if if you need one ball to get, and there's like seven on the table or six, get one of them out of play. I think he could two-rail the five to the to his hole. Yeah, he can do that. He I can do that. He, could. he can do that. And it's safe. But it uh, takes a pretty good hit. Hits that, hits that point in the pocket. Oh, he didn't do that. Yeah. Holman desperately wants to shoot at his game ball. But Van Boning is stopping him from shooting at his ball. Good shot. Good shot. Got it on your side. It's very difficult for him to uh, right. And if make he shoots the two railer now, he could sell out the six. Yes, he can. I don't even think it's the correct shot. It's actually. not. It's not. Just bank this on your side behind the nine and stick. Well, he shot the two-railer, Billy. He's got to be careful here. If he fools with that 10, he's got to be careful. Yeah, I don't think you could do much. Yeah, if he fools with this 10, he's got to be real careful here. I'm not quite sure if uh, coming off the six here is not the the right shot. I think the coming off the six could be the right shot. If he if he's sure that he won't contact the thirteen with the cue ball, if it comes off the six, that may be the right shot. How about shooting the six off the two and billiarding the ten from behind? If he can do that, that's a I good shot. I think he could. But just that, he tried it. Right, that was that was a good shot. Uh oh, the nine banks. He's got a pocket on it. It the does bank. Banks. It does bank. And if he makes that, we're going to see him run some balls here. It's going to be close, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I think it banks. It's going to be close. Now, he's going to hit the 10, which isn't going to hurt him. But that's perfect for Homer. Now, he can lag softly behind the 10. Yeah. 
Kick softly at the ten. Softly behind the ten, not allowing him to see the six. Because if he sees the six and puts him behind that one, he's got major problems here. Yeah. Don't let him see the six. He's looking to shoot the nine into the ten and try to move both balls. That's okay, providing you know that you're not going to get that kiss off the nine. So if you're laying thick enough, full enough on the nine to move both balls, that's what I would do. I or would else move both balls. He could bank the nine upstream a little and go one rail and hit the ten also, or go behind it. That's another way you can do it. Yeah. So he's got that shot. He's kicking at the ten. Of the three shots we described, this is the weakest of the three because you don't get movement from the balls. That might be a scratch. No, he's fine. Oh, he barely hit it, but he hit it. Well, I think what Van Boning must do here, I think he's got to take an intentional. I think so too, Billy. He's got to try to get him behind that one. He's got a, he's got a ball to put on the spot, which could wind up a threat and stop uh, Van Boning from doing anything with the 9 and 10. You're right. Take a scratch, put him up the corner, get... A ball on the spot. That's he's, a big shot. You might gotta, as well need eight he's instead of seven. He's got to try to put him behind the one. He can put him on that rail behind the one if he goes four cushions with the cue ball now. By hitting short of the... No, I don't like that. I like just taking the scratch. Where? Where? He can shoot it up in that far corner. And then he'll kick again. So what? <laughs> he'll be back in the same wait, spot. The ball on the spot... He'll I don't know why again. you laugh when I say kick, something. He's going to kick again. Yeah, well, he's going to kick again now. No, he's going to get out of trouble now. Yeah, but if he goes four cushions and puts him behind the one on that rail, he's dead. Well, I mean, he's dead. He's dead. Well, what, is he gonna, what are you going to do well, from there? I don't think he's dead. But what are you going to do from there? He didn't do it. So okay, I want to see right. where the balls are before I make an opinion. He can shoot the 10 straight on and knock it on his side and stick. Let him have the 9. Exactly. I agree. Get that 10 out of there. Get that 10 out of there. And if you have to, just draw the ball a little bit. Don't give him an ideal angle on the bank. I worry when you agree with me. Because I might be wrong. <laughs> he yeah. shot the shot and he made it. That's shootable. A, that's good speed. That's good speed. I like that. That's a good shot. And he can't shoot the six, two rails, because it's too thin, I believe. But it's back to what you said earlier. If he can shoot the six and go behind the one, that's a big shot. Well, he couldn't go to the pocket with it, but he wanted to knock it on his side, and he really didn't do much with it. got to be careful here because he's going to leave some kind of a bank. Yeah, don't let him see the 10 either because the 10, two rails. Now at one rails. Well, Where are you going, nine? That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. He's all right. He can cross the nine, go right to the hole. Yeah, but uh, it's, it's not without risk. That cue ball is a fast cue ball. He's got speed. It's a fast cue ball. He's got speed. I think it's time to shoot it. See the speed? Oh, he yeah, didn't. it's a fast cue ball. That's what I'm saying. Okay, he didn't want to gamble because he feels like this game is not out of reach. So he doesn't want to give him anything easy now to lose the game with. If I feel by shooting into the two, into the five, I can move all balls, I'm doing that right now. If the two and five are lined up to move all the balls, I'm moving them all and putting them on that one. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to have all balls out of play now. If the if two and five are lined up where the five hits the rail before that ball, then all balls move out of there. Be careful here. 
Left him to six. He left him to six, Billy. Yeah, but and yeah, a nine. Yeah, he left him to nine for sure. Because now he's got a slow cue ball with this bank. Now, if he, if he shoots to six, you know, he's going to go into the nine with the cue ball. Oh, no, I think he's going past the nine. Let's see what he does. I think he can go right at the one. No, he sold out unless it goes. Oh, now what? Now, forget it. Now this game is history. You can't follow it in because the 10 is there to shoot. What you got to do now is cut the 13 in and bank the 10. You're that's, right. That's, the only chance that's he's that's got. That's the only shot he's got. He's got to cut the 13 in. If he's able to make that, he should have some sort of a bank on the 10. Yep. He knows it, too. Oh, he's looking at the com. Maybe the combination's dead. Maybe the combination is dead. Look. But I like your first shot. Cut the ball in and then bank to ten. Your only chance. The problem with shooting the combination is you could now you committed yourself to running all the balls because now you're going to have to probably get all the balls in fear well, of leaving him any kind of a shot. This is a tough combination. Not for him though. Look at this. Look at he's going to knock the ten out of play. Well, look at he look at he did with the ten. Look, he, he did. Oh, that is unbelievable. Now he can make the five fall on the two. Then follow the nine in. Following on the two is not going to be easy here. Yeah, he'll do it. Yeah? Nine rails. <laughs> oh, this is no good. The two goes. You can't follow the nine in. You had to get on the two. He, he does have a bank on the two, but it's no bargain. But that's all he's got. The only chance he's got now is to make the two then follow the nine in. Yeah, I didn't like what he did there. Well, he, he was too thin to control you're, the cue ball right. for the two. You're right. Makes this, we're going to see a game here. Game's over. I I think Holman could run out here. <laughs> well, that's oh, that game could have got shaky. Yeah, sure could have. That's game number three. Now, Holman does win a game, and he is on the board, trailing two games to one after game three. Yeah, that was a pretty exciting game, uh, even though it looked like for a long time Holman had total control of it. It was always just hanging on that cliff, wasn't it? Anything could have happened. Had Holman made a mistake, Van Boning would have came back and punished him pretty good. But uh, Holman was able to protect that lead. It was a little scary, but he was able to get the job done. Pretty good break. If he can't see the six. Can he see the six? Maybe he could. If we had a camera angle from the side, it would be wonderful. We have a camera angle from the side. A little lower, please. Can we get a little lower? Can we get the whole picture on? That's it. Yeah. And that's better now. He looks like he, he may, be, have may be able to see the six. He does. He can see it, and he can shoot it straight on. If he can shoot it straight on into the seven, that's what he should do, obviously. I think because he it, could. Yeah. Stick the cue ball. Put the seven in play. That's the shot. That's the shot. He got them all in play. And he's got two balls on his side. He positioned the cue ball very closely to the rail under the three. He sure made that shot look good. i tell you what, he executed it very nicely, and he limited on what Van Boney can do in return. And he took the breakaway. That's what they call neutralizing the position off the break. You know, and actually, Van Boney is the only one who has a chance to win the tournament yet because... I think he plays Darren a couple times, and Darren has to lose three games, and he Van Boning has to win his last four. Now, Holman has to figure out how he can get the cue ball around where the three is or in the stack. You try to figure out, do I have a shot to come off of a ball to position the cue ball in the stack on the other side of the stack? Up that way, 
there's no future going up, going up table. So you either have to take an intentional scratch by going two cushions into the stack, something like this. Give me an overhead, please. You can go two cushions and go into the stack like this, or if you can come off of a ball, then that's you know that's another option you may have. This this doesn't seem like it's right to me for some reason. No, he doesn't seem like it's right either to him. It doesn't seem like it was right to him. He got up off of it. Now he's coming out. He, he don't understand about the intentional. But he did a couple, uh, two games ago when he shot two cushions up table. Take that, take that mindset into this position and go two cushions into the stack with the cue ball, an intentional. That puts you in the right side of the stack, puts him on the wrong side of the stack, and, and makes his job play much more difficult. I don't think this is right. He's, you're going to find yourself back in the same position now. So he can come off the four ball and put you back basically in, yeah, in the same position. He could do that. Or he, uh, from the angle that he has, maybe there's better things for him to do. No, he may have left home in a bank on the nine here. Well, I don't know. I think the, the cue ball will glance too much it was the five, and yeah. he could sell out the four. Because he'll you, hit the five what? and the 15 and sell out the four. I don't like Did the you, bank. You know, it's dangerous. Well, you know, the reason I brought that up is because Holman's only chance to win this match is to get aggressive He's got the ball's position. The bank, the bank on the nine's available. I, I wouldn't be mad at him if he banked the nine here. Well, he's not doing it. That could be disaster. Nope. He's lucky he didn't sell out the four. And he didn't leave a bank. He got away with that shot. No, he sure did. But he didn't go for the bank. He went for a, for a kiss bank. Well, he could shoot at one ball here if he wants. He could bank the seven and draw back, but that's only shooting at one ball. What he can do, he can cut the nine to the right and softly go to the cushion. It's no big deal, but he's got to get away from the position that he's in now. And he's got to try to come back to the table with some sort of an offensive shot. Right now, he doesn't have any. So he's got to buy a little time. How he does that, I'm not quite sure. Just get the cue ball on the other side of the table without leaving a return bank. That's not too bad at all. Van I'll Bonin tell you is, what, he can shoot the 11 and bank the ball and draw the cue ball, even play position. You leave a bank if he doesn't make it, but this ball's sitting pretty good, Billy. Yeah, I wouldn't be really overly concerned about him shooting this shot because he can also sell out shooting this shot. See, he can also sell out if it hits the point and leaves a return bank he or did. straight in. I wouldn't be concerned for him shooting that shot. I think, matter of fact, I wouldn't mind him shooting that shot. Well, he's got to be glad he did. Well, Holman's got to run balls now. He's in the game and the match. Yeah, he's got to come around and get on that 115 and 7. That's the balls he's got to because all those balls go. And if he can move that blue two ball later on, that'd be perfect. That'll open up the pocket for the 14 yeah, and possibly other balls. He's got to go two rails. I think the 15, 1, and 7 all go. Good speed. Now, now the 8-5 eight, eight, combination is there. If he, uh, You if think he, so? Yeah, the 8-5 combination yeah, I is see there. It. Yeah, it is. Definitely there. But the problem with that shot is, where is your next shot? 
Now, he does have the 15. He can shoot that a couple of different ways. He can shoot it and go back into the 6, or he can draw underneath the, the 12 ball. He's shooting the 15. He can go one rail into the 6, or he can go into the 13 one or rail. Or he can go into nothing and still have the combination. He went into the six. That opens oh, up beautiful. balls for him. Nicely beautiful. executed. Yeah, now he can get right out. He still has the combination. He needs six balls. He has the he has a twelve one seven. It may be the combination next. He may even bump the eight here, which he did. You shoot the one here. I think the one's a pretty good shot from here. That keeps you on top of the balls. The five maybe takes you away from the balls. He know what he doesn't want to go away from them. But he wants to stay on top of the balls. I like the one from here. Well, he could shoot the five, I think, and get to the two. Yeah, but he might if he gets to the two, he may be That could be the and, end of yeah, it. Yeah, so I like the one. I think he has much more potential shooting the one. Which is his only chance in this match. Run balls. Yeah, he didn't want to get that kiss. Now he's pretty awkward on the seven. Now he's got to come down table and take a look at the bank on the two because he may be forced to play position for that shot because he's really awkward on the seven. He's got the wrong angle. Yeah, don't get the straight angle on the bank either. Get the cut angle on the two bank. Because if you do that, you can play position for something. The angle that he has yeah. on the bank now, if he stops the cue ball or even draws it back an inch, he'll be able to cross the two. That's what we want. We don't want him to be straight in. Wow. Well, he doesn't want to play position for a bank. That's what it comes to. No, nope, that's yeah. He he overstroked that ball. Now we're we're back uh, and uh, trying to uh, protect that lead now, which he had a problem doing the last time he had the lead. Yeah, he didn't want to play position for the bank. Now you got to be careful here. You got to make sure because you you don't want to give him a free bank on that two ball. I like cutting the eleven ball towards your pocket and going up table with the cue ball. Right, you can't make it, but. Leave right. distance and get the 11 shootable. Try to go up table around where the three ball is with the cue ball. That's your target. I don't want, I, I don't want to bank the 11. I want to cut it. If you bank the 11, you, you, you give him too much management. He could bank the three. He could bank the two. Cut the 11 over. Go up table with the cue ball by the three. That's a much better shot, but you want to go all the way up table. But that's a much better shot. Yeah, and he, and he left him snookered. He can't hit the 11. He can't afford to bank the 3 because of the position of the 11. So what you've done there, you've given him something he doesn't like looking at. He doesn't like anything about this leave. You can see by the expression yeah. on his face. He's, He's going to bank the three. If the if the twelve goes, you know, uh, if the twelve goes, yeah, he's daring him. He said, "I'll shoot this bank and let him have that eleven." Yeah. Well, I don't really find fault in what he did. That's why I said he should have gotten the cue ball all the way up by the three. If he would have done that, he would have taken that option away. Yeah, he's in trouble now because he can't even he can't even kick sell out the two. Does he have a shot on this? Oh, no. I think he does. But can he control the cue ball? Yeah, he might go into the eleven here. Well, he went into the 11, but if you make the ball, it doesn't matter, and he's got the 2. I don't mind that, because when you're way behind, shooting at something, you can't fault. Now he wants to, he wants to brush that, uh, that the 4 or the 5. 
It's the five. Oh, it's the five. If he could do that, he'd be in business. He's gonna. Oh no, he yeah, is. The, the he's eight, got the eight. The eight goes. If he has the angle to bump that ten and then stick there for the fourteen. Yeah, he can get all the way out here. He's got the angle, Billy. Look at that. I think he got full enough now on the fourteen to hold it for the ten. He needs five balls here. Yeah, he can get them. Now I can I he draw know. the ball and go to the six. I think he could. He wanted the angle to draw the ball and clip that five. Now he looks like he's straight in here. He may be going right back toward the six. He wants to try to avoid that and get away from the six. See, he went toward the six. So therefore he had the angle that suggested that if he drew the ball, he would go right toward the six. He tried to change that angle and wasn't able to do that. And now he's left the cue ball in a position where he can't even take out the 11. He may have to give him the 11. I like that. Give him the 11. If he gives him the 11, then uh, Holman will be playing for two balls. But when you're playing a player like Holman, who's, who doesn't really have that much experience playing one pocket, it's okay to put him on, on the sixth ball count because he still has to play awfully good in terms of moving to beat you. So now it's six balls apiece with Van Boning having a clear advantage in the moving end of the game. I believe he can shoot straight ahead and shoot the nine two cushions and go up table with the cue ball, but he doesn't see the shot. See, he just stuck there. So therefore, he's really... Where are you going, nine? He neglected to shoot a, a shot that would have given him a positional edge. Well, he's got a few shots he could shoot here. He could even shoot the nine and go to the end rail. Right? Can he shoot the nine and go all the way up to the end rail? Yeah, he can do that, but uh, he'll leave. A, he'll leave. Uh, he'll leave some kind of shot. Yeah, but, but it's not really a shot that I would like to shoot. No, you know, neither but, would I. You know, but he can do that. But maybe he's he's thinking, I don't want to move that nine. But but why not? Yeah. It especially, gives him an easy especially move. Especially if you run the risk of selling out some sort of a shot if you don't move it. Well, you don't want to leave a bank on the six either. Watch out. Watch out. Now, see, he left him a shot here. That's why I didn't like it. Now, he's left him a shot here. He can bank this, and I, I believe he can draw the cue ball past that five. It's It's a fairly risky shot, but I think that if he hits it well, it's almost free. He doesn't want to shoot it. He doesn't want to shoot it. No, he's not even looking at it. Which well, I he think figures he's going to sell out that five for sure. And then if he doesn't make the six bank, he's going to leave a bank and Van Bonin can get out running two balls. Coming off of this ball, he's got to be careful not to leave that cross corner on the six. Or a straight back on the four. Is he banking at the six? He looks like he wants to. He's got to. He's got to do a trick with the cue ball here, though. Huh? He's yeah, got to do a trick, a trick with the cue ball, the cue ball because right. that cue ball wasn't easy. So he had to come up with a little bit of a trick cue ball if he opted to shoot that shot, which he failed to do. He might have blown the game with that shot. Like I mentioned to you before, a couple different times, he's got this strong, such a strong draw stroke. Maybe he didn't anticipate drawing it that well and going into the pocket, but you know what? He should be very familiar with his ability to draw the ball and should understand where that ball's going because... Well, you know, I don't try to hit the six here. I draw the ball and play for the bank on the six. 
I don't try to hit the six. Oh, I agree. If he's got that, he's got the stroke to do it too. Yeah, he can do it. If he pockets this. He's going to have a good bank on the six. Mm, beautiful. She did. Just like you would have played it. Perfectly positioned cue ball. Nicely struck shot. Yep. And Boney threw this game away. And he stole this game. Holman stole this game. This match is tied up, Danny, two apiece. Two apiece. Yeah, well, I think it's Holman's break. Yeah. And like you said yesterday... And Boney lost patience in one game, and he just did That's it again. exactly right. That's exactly right. When you know you have a tactical edge over your opponent, especially, a, you know, a decisive one, why take a chance and do something haphazard when you know all you need to do is show and have a little patience, move with him, and you figure to bring home it the win? It was a terrible shot because he went right in the pocket with yeah. the cue ball. It isn't like something knocked it in. or It looked obvious. We got a match. We got a. They both need two, and it's Holman's break. He he broke them good two games in a row. Holman has a much better look on his face right now. He's walking around the table with a lot more confidence, even though it may have been a, a you know, an unearned win in a sense. He doesn't think. He doesn't think so. You know, he had. He did play pretty good to get himself in position to win. And, and then he Van threw Boning, it away. And Van Boning served it up to him, and he took advantage of it. It's like you said, any other shot. He would have been the favorite to outmove him. I guess that's one of the drawbacks when you have that big cannon like Van Boning. Whenever you have that type of arsenal, so you have a tendency at times to use it when you don't need to. He's banking at this, Billy. He better go into the three or the or the thirteen. He made it, and he got position. <laughs> so this is why he's a champion, Billy. He forgot all about what he just did. And it's, he, he took the same mindset on the opening shot here than he did when he banked that six. In other words, he looked at the situation and he said, you know what? I can do this. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a ball striker. I know I can do this. And threw caution to the wind. And it wasn't free. He tried to open some more balls. I don't know if he did. Is the 14 dead? It's pretty close. I tell you, it's, it's close enough to take a look at. I think it's dead. I think it's dead. Of course, we don't... When we're talking like this, we're not talking about shooting it right now. We're talking about falling on it later. Because I think it's dead. He thinks it's dead, too, or else he wouldn't have played that ball so quickly and so comfortably. So, therefore, he has something in mind. The way he's playing, it seems to me that he's playing with a man on a mission and he has something in mind. So it is dead because he hit the way he hit that shot well, with his speed. Well, he went to the 13, Billy. 13 goes also. And then he'll shoot the what we call the dead one. Folks, when we say dead, we mean it's pointing into the pocket. He's got a bank on the three. Well, maybe it's dead from this position, Danny. In other it words, might be. you know... This angle is different than the other well, angle because the six goes into the top side of the five now from here. Well, apparently he's not going to shoot it because he's going to try to bank the three and go into the 11. I don't understand why he's not shooting. It looks like it's dead to me. Yeah. He's going to spin and go into the 11 with right hand English. And he made it. I no, he missed it. He missed it. Now he would have shot the combination, but it's not his shot anymore. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I really believe that. But it wasn't dead, but it was laying so nice, you know. I mean, it, of course he had to hit it good, but I thought he was in perfect line to hit it good. 
Well, he took a 5 nothing lead. Holman's got to be careful here. I, I don't think he should be fooling with that top ball, the 8 ball here. Because they don't open up a possibility. Oh, of, he can't shoot the 8. Yeah. He can't shoot the 8. But what he can do, he can bank that 8 and possibly, you know, cross table and freeze him on that 6. He could do that possibly, but you've got to control the 8 to do that. You've got to hit the 8 with the I, correct I speed. I don't like that, chat. I don't it, think he has to do anything like that. He's kicking at the 3. No, look what he did. He left the bank. Of course, he could play the score here and forget the bank. Is he going to bank and try to go three rails? I think he's going to draw this bank. Think well, so? Go, well, three rails, you know what? This is risky because he could he could do something wrong here and sell out. And then he could do that. <laughs> he, he went three that. rails. Yeah. He's yeah. got the three. Or he's still got that one we keep calling dead. Yeah, but it's totally yeah. different now. He doesn't like it. He's got a bank on the two. And that's his game ball. Yeah, well, he needs one ball. That first shot to really put him in position to control the game. Yeah, when he shot the 15, the game. he missed it. Well, I'll tell you what, this game's not over. I know it. He left the bank, too. I, he left the bank. I don't think there's a kiss, either. It I think he can go forward. It's pretty close. It's pretty close here. Yeah, but I, I like it. With a high ball going forward, maybe a hair, left-hand English, he could get position. Yeah, you got to shoot this. If it's anywhere near possible, I'm shooting it, obviously. Yeah. But this kiss looks like, you know, it looks like it's a pretty, pretty no close kiss. kiss. Billy, believe me, there's no kiss. And he could play position. If he kisses, he's going to scratch. There's no kiss. You get it? Well, Van Boning, yeah, was very close. Van Boning really threw his stick at that game ball. I thought that demanded a lot more respect than what he gave it considering the position of all the other balls. Well, you know, Holman can get right out. If he can go one rail and hit the eight now, oh, he, he's yeah. going to have a chance. You got him. Yeah, I, that's what I would have done. I would have went oh, one rail and hit the eight. He didn't. Because the one goes, it was possible if he hit the eight, he'd wind up shooting the 14 for his game ball in the end, a bank. Watch out. He's, that's pretty hard. Watch out. You're right. He's okay. Well, now he's out of line. He's got a bad no. angle. No, he can go two rails to the one now, Billy. Yeah, he can, but that's not the angle that he wanted to end up with. He's going to be a mile away oh, from the one. Well, he can go two rails towards the one and might even hit the eight. You know, if you don't hit the eight, you go to the one. Okay, now that's that's the correct route. He should apply left. He's going that way. Left hand English. Low left hand English. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what he does. Aim at the eight. If you don't hit the eight, you're going to the one. But hit it with the good speed that you need to hit it with to play for the one. If you happen to hit the eight, yeah, that's bingo. he's going to do that. I think that's the shot. He could win this game here. That's, that's what too, he tried. That's too high. See, he but tried. he got to the one. Exactly, but it was too high. I like your shot better. I like going toward the eight. Well, he can go to the eight now. He can hit the eight now. And again, he's going to wind up shooting the 14 to win the game after he makes these three balls. Uh, I know yeah. I'm giving it to him, but he's such a good shooter. You know, He's pretty... Uh, Don't hit it hard. Keep the eight shootable for yourself. He's pretty straight, so therefore he's going to no, have... No, he's got an angle to go one rail easily, Billy. Uh, well, what I'm saying is, Dan, he's pretty straight. Oh, uh, forget it now. <laughs> okay. He needed a little left-hand English. He would have hit the eight. And he doesn't have the 14 now, I don't think. Uh, he can has, he stiffen it? Yeah, he can stiffen it. He can stiffen it. But what the point I was trying to bring up when he shot the one 
was that he doesn't have a natural angle to the aid, so he's going to have to do something with a feel and a force. And sometimes that's not easy to do, which was evidence there. Yeah. But he does have a bank on the 14. He didn't put hardly any English on the cue ball there. Well, he's just going to try to knock it to the rail and snooker him. I don't think this is a good shot. Now I think it's worse. He, he sold out the six. <laughs> he's looking at us because he's saying, I ought to live in Dusseldorf. <laughs> Dusseldorf. <laughs> Why Dusseldorf, Danny? Because if you translate that city in Germany in English, it means village of idiots. Oh, I'll forget you said that. After game, it's true. After game number six. It's true. All right, never mind. It's going to be five. In game number five, Van Boney now takes a 3-2. It's decent, by the way. 3-2 advantage. And, Billy, for you people out there, I know you know what I'm talking about. Translated into English, it means village of idiots. But anyway, Van Boney's lucky to win that one. And he's on the hill with his break. Did he leave the five? But, well, he leave the 14. That's even a better question. Being the straight pool player that Holman is, he may have left the 14 here. You mean a kiss-off? Oh, yeah, he may have a combo here. Oh, yeah. Look at it. You're right. He could shoot the uh, seven even with a billiard. He's shooting it. He he's seems, shooting he it. He seems to like it. He's going to shoot yeah, it. He's going to shoot it. And that cue ball is going to work its way through that stack and end up on the other side, on the other side rail. And he'll have plenty of opportunities probably to follow it up with ball with it. With, if with he doesn't running. scratch, Billy, because this cue ball, when he cuts the seven, he could scratch off that 13 ball. Now he's going to shoot it with the 13 ball just for that reason. I thought he's going right at the two here. Oh, he, he can't. He can't. He's going to no. overcut it. If he hits the two, he's going to overcut the Okay, well, game. all right. I like the billiard. Even billiard off the three, but you got to worry where the balls are flying. you got to hit this hard. Yeah, it was dead. Oh, he needed a kiss. Yeah. The wait, wait, nine he, he bank. got the one. He got the one. Yeah, on the nine banks, too. Uh, I think he's going to be, well, you know, I don't know if he, uh, what kind of an angle he has. Well, he's got an extreme angle on the one. I think he could bank the nine and go into the five. But he wants to shoot. You know, if you give him a tough shot to his pocket without shooting a bank, he'd rather shoot the shot than the bank. But now I think he's learning a little. The bank is the right shot. Go into the five, but make the ball, which he didn't do. And he sold out. Yeah. It's because he overcut the nine, or it would have been a fuller hit. Now, I think he could uh, sleep in the street. Yeah, he's going to be very fortunate to get back to the table. One goes, a nine goes. The 11 all goes. All balls on the other side of the table where he's looking at now, all those balls the go. 15 goes, everything so goes. He needs seven more balls, and I see, everything goes. I see at least six real quick. I see them all. Although he got funny here, because I think if he shoots the nine, he's got to hit the one. Yeah, I don't think he can go forward on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's a little, little funny on the nine. Let's see, but with his stroke, like I mentioned before, it's so powerful that he can well, just... Let's see. He's got the one. Oh, I don't know, but he oh, don't have the one. Shot. No, you're he right. He don't have the one. He doesn't. He's got nothing. I thought he was a little precipitous with his attempt at that shot, shooting it as quickly as he did. You know, I thought that shot demanded a lot more respect than what he gave it, and he just got up there and shot it like it well, was a hanger. I think he played position for the wrong ball to be in that spot. Like I say, it's tough to fault guys that are great players, but I'm going to fault them when they shoot the wrong shot. Look, you're perfect, and I fault you. 
<laughs> well, what does that say about you when you're faulting someone who's perfect? <laughs> Good hit. You think so? I think so. He didn't leave a bank. He's got to kick in the one. That's his yes, only shot does. there. See, till I got older, I was more perfect than you, Billy. Well, what was that when you were what? How low were you? Three. <laughs> Yeah, he better kick this in. Good shot. This is a ping pong game right now. They're going to go back and forth to see who gives up a shot to gain a positional advantage. This is a very interesting part of the game that many people feel is boring, but I really feel that it's very interesting because the first player who gives up a, a shot to change the game is going to probably yeah, lose the this game. The balls are sitting good for Holman also. Not bad. It's not bad. He's protecting both the seven and the eight on his side of the table, and that was his job. Great shot, because he can't kick at anything. He'll leave a bank. Right, and it's awful difficult for him to come off the three or even the two without having uh, Holman to come up with an answer to put him back where he shot well, from. And you know, Holman wants anything to shoot at right now. I kind of feel this is the type of a game that looks like it has all the makings of an up-table game from here. This position is going to be hard to do, hard to protect, not defend, protect. It's a, that's a beautiful shot, by the way, beautiful shot. He's going to lay him on the rail. Now, all of a sudden, Holman made a great shot. He did. Home, now, when he gets back to the table, he can come off the green six now. Now, he doesn't want to move this ball much. See, now, he, look, he may have hit it too hard. He may have given him a shot. He did. He gave him a shot. Holman Boy. made But Holman made a great shot in freezing the cue ball on that on that 13. Had had Van Boning not given up a shot to Holman, Holman could have came off the green six and put him in trouble. But well, he don't need to do that now. He's got a shot. He's got a chance to get seven or six for sure, and that'll get him to seven. Yeah, that was not real bright. He's got to figure out a way to get on top of the balls here. And based off of all the time he's taking, it looks like it may be difficult. Yeah, he's going to brush two balls here. Might not give him position. Oh, he got it. That was a beautiful shot. It was. He spun the ball in so he could hit it fuller. Can you pinch draw this right back? I think he could. He's got space between it. Nice quick stroke. He did it. You don't don't get, get on the rail, though. You don't want to get too flat. Now he's got another problem. He's got a pretty flat angle here. He's going to have to hit this with a good stroke. Oh, he's got a one rail angle, Billy. He can go right to the eight or the seven. He's got an angle. He doesn't want to bump the seven wrong, or they'll have a very difficult shot on the eight. Well, he's got a much better I, angle than I thought. I knew he could do this. He can get to seven here, Billy, and he can possibly you know, get right out. 
I kind of like just drawing back two inches and then drawing cross table for the f- for the four and the three. All you got to do is pocket this, go back about two inches. Yeah, he can get right out here. That's it. Now go cross table for the four and the three and possibly the two. They both go. So he can run balls. There's no question about that. And Van Boning didn't respect that when he, as quickly as he shot that shot. Well, he doesn't want to get on the two because he can't go anywhere off the two. That's pretty hard. He's pretty hard. Yeah, real hard for Van well, Boney. He wanted the four. He's got the three. Yeah. Yeah, but he wanted the four, but he's got the three. Now he's got to come with another accurately hit ball with a good stroke to get back for the four. He needs two balls. Well. I like his end of this. He hits center pocket. He'll then draw the cue ball back for the four. And he'll capture this game, and we're going to see a hill-hill battle here. Now, he's in pretty good line for the pocket. This uh, he can, He'll level off on this one, and this yeah. one here will trickle into the pocket. Yeah, he's going to make this or hang it for sure. It's his game ball. Boy, Van Boning had the nuts and blew it. He left them straight in. Well, when Holman positioned that cue ball froze into that 13, he made an excellent shot. Van Boning, he shot it a little too quickly. And too hard. And didn't really truly feel the speed of the shot. You call it. He overcut it. He overcut it. It's not going. Yeah, he jumped up a little, too. Okay, he's got he's got on the hill leading seven to four. Bamboni needs four, Homan needs one. Yeah, you might as well sell it right out now. See well, you later. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what went through his mind. Well, what went through his mind on the other shot? Whose break is it now? Uh, Holman's. Wow. And the last time he broke the ball, he broke him really well, except yep. he gave him that cross-corner bank. Had he not given him that cross-corner bank as well as he broke them, he would have probably won that game, too, because of how well he broke them. 3-3 three, so, three in his break. This is the final game here in a race to four. The match is tied up at three games apiece. And Holman is striking the break well. Let's see what happens here. Interesting stuff. Yeah, he sold out twice on simple shot. There we go. Well, we played six games. Van Boney winning the first two, thought he had a walk in the park. And then Holman came back and won the next two games. Then going into game five, Holman broke the ball, sold out a bank, and Van Boney banked it in and controlled the game after that. And then in the last game, you saw how Holman won that game, sending it to a hill hill battle. Here we go. Holman didn't win it. Van Boning lost it. I just thought I'd say that. That's a good break. That's a good break. That's a real good break. I don't know if the 9 is pocketable. And I don't think the 10 is. No, the 10's not for sure. So he can go off the 1 and go all the way upstream and let him go. All you guys that supported us here, watching this match, all you make it happen people, we really appreciate all of you. Gene and George Rootsman, Ario LaCostra, Gerald Lutch, Ken Lee. Ken Lee was here yesterday, I believe. I don't know if he's here tonight or this afternoon. Take a look at this shot. Danny says, come off the one, go up table. Van Boning says, you know what, I think I can do extra. I don't know if you can. 
So you know you can come off the one and go up table. If you think you could do extra, we'll find out. I don't think you can do extra. No, he blew it again. I don't think you can do extra. You're giving one of the best players in the world a shot here, okay? And He's you, done. And you hold the tactical edge in moving, but you've failed once again to understand that. He tried to do more than he could. He, he should have just banked the one towards his side and go upstream. I don't know what kind of an angle or what kind of a shot if he, he has on the 10. If he can only go rail first on the 10, that's what he's going to have to do. Either that or play a combination. Well, doesn't the 9 pass? I don't know. If, it, if the 9 passes, he that's, can go right to that's the, uh, certainly a horse yeah, of a different color. He can color. go right to the uh, 12 ball, I think. I think it goes. Well, if the, he, he might even have the 10 also. If the 9 passes, he can go to to the 12 or possibly 9, 10, 12. Well, he's going to shoot the 10 first, I think. Well, maybe he only has a small pocket with the 9. He don't like it. Yeah, apparently he doesn't because if he had it, he would have shot it already. If he can shoot the 10 right in, he can get position by... Yep. Oh, that's not real good. It's worse than not good. <laughs> yeah, well, he he would like to have that shot back. Yeah, I don't like his choice there. I think he could have shot way differently on that ball. He's going to be looking at this for a while here. And before he shoots, there's a couple other people out there that I would like to... Acknowledge David Sky McCaffrey, Gene Mann, Justin Marks, Bill Marshall, Brian Marshall. Brian Marshall supported all four of the Make It Happen events along with Art Mastrodask. But this name's forgot me. Mastrodask. Mass. Art Mastrodask. Master, go ahead. Master, Just say it, Danny. <laughs> it is. The only reason I noticed one, because I have friends. I, I can't read the first. Art Mastro de Casa. Great shot. In the meantime, you missed it. He banked the ball into another ball that went into the pocket. He's still at the table, and he can possibly steal this match. Yeah, he's got the 13. I think he can draw it back for the 15. Anyways, thanks a lot, Art. Here we go. Where are you going now? He wants to go. He wants to go. He wants to go. He got to the five. He may have the five. He I may think have he the does. five. He's looking at it now. He's got the five. He's looking at it. He's looking to see if he's got the 11 he's, also. He's but he's shaking. got the five, and he can go right to the 15. He's shaking his head like I almost have it shake. It's an almost have it shake of the head. He's it, got it. It isn't like a look like I got the five look. I guess not. I think he's got the five, but... He's shooting the 11. You know, he's going to run out no matter what he does. Wow, that was an excellent shot, hitting the top of the nine, positioning now both balls in play for their out. Yeah, he's, he's going to run out. He's got four balls. He's playing for four. He can shoot the two, nine, 15, and then bank the six if he needs to. Okay, now he come over for the he can 15. come over for the fifteen, and depending on the angle that he ends up with on the fifteen, he can either try to draw it under the six, or play it's probably play position for the six, or even possibly play position for the one. But you don't want to play shape for the one because you put yourself way out of position in case you don't get there. He only needs three, Billy. He can get at least two here, but I think he's getting all the way out. He's got to have, well, he's gotten them back of the six. He's not going to like this. He's not going to like this. He does have a combination. I don't know the type of an angle, what kind of an angle he has on the combination. Will he send the six away from position if he happens to pocket the combination? If so, so be it. Send the six away. But most importantly, put that 15 in the pocket. Well, if he loses the six here, he's going to have a bank on the two for the money. He needs two. You 
You got to treat this shot like the 15 is game ball. That's the way you got to treat it. Well, whatever you do, don't overcut the 15 and leave a bank. Oh, the six went. The six went. He fooled everybody. This is game ball and match ball. He missed it. He missed that he jumped up again, too. Okay, now Van Boney has a decision to make here. Does he, does he bank? I think he's going to have to bank the seven. But if he can't get any shape back in the seven, he'll have to bank the orange five. But he's got to go for the pocket here in some form. Some way he's got to go for the pocket. You're right. I don't even know if the seven banks... He's looking at the four. I wouldn't want to bank the four, but if the seven doesn't bank, maybe he's forced to bank the four. Does the five bank? I think the five banks for sure. Well, that would be self-defense if he banked the five. Maybe he can bank the five and draw back for the two four. I don't know the, the angle that he has. But it's possible that he could bank the five and draw back for the two four. Well, he's oh, shooting. He's going forward. He's going to go up on top. He's going to hit this yeah. with speed. If he hit it with speed, it's going to shorten up. No, he, I'm surprised he didn't draw back. How about he sold out the game? I kick the 15 in here. If he doesn't, have, I think he, he can cut if it. If he in. can't cut it, I kick it. You're right. It's the game ball. If he Tough can't to miss, if he can't cut it, you kick it. He's going to cut it. This match is over, and we got an upset. That wouldn't have been an upset before Man of War. That's what we have. <laughs> well, Danny, uh, Holman did win a one-pocket match. He's and, on a roll. Uh, He's won three matches in a row three now. Three matches in a row. So he has a very respectable score now at three and six. Isn't it three and six? And a great positive attitude also. Oh, he always has a pretty good attitude, you know. Not but play winning, one pocket, winning but doesn't hurt, does it? Not at all. Especially when you beat a guy like Van Boning. That's got to pump you, you up a little. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna close this up by saying that we'll be back in about maybe an hour or less, with or two hours with our evening session, and we're gonna have, we have some pretty good matches. Who do we have coming up, Pat, on the evening session? Okay, we have Appleton or Kulo Straypool coming up first round evening match. See you then. <laughs>